scratcher here in Chicago this week, a, a, a stunning uh, revelation from the White Sox. We've got a new name for the baseball stadium uh, on the south side. It, it was Comiskey Park, and then 13 years ago they, they changed the name to U.S. Cellular Field, which everyone uh, was kind of getting introduced to U.S. Cellular. U.S. Cellular doesn't even operate here in Chicago anymore. <laughs> they got bought out by Sprint. So uh, we, we thought that maybe a name change was coming, and we got it. Guaranteed Rate Field. Starting November 1st, that is going to be the new name of the ballpark on the south side. Uh, most people here in Chicago have no idea what guaranteed rate is. I didn't know until it was announced a couple days ago. It's a mortgage lender. Uh, but the deal is signed through 2030. Uh, so that's what the White Sox will be playing in next year, guaranteed rate field. All right, so that's a good 16-year, right? Fifth, uh, what is that, uh, fifth? 14, 13 yeah, years? 14 years. Actually, 13 years with a one-year added option if guarantee rate is still around. Which How, is much? The problem we're seeing. How much? How uh, much? Well, we, we, it's interesting the way that the stadiums work out because it's not actually owned by the White Sox. It's owned by a, a, a public trust mm. uh, that uh, actually is, is renting the field out to the White Sox at a pretty cheap rate. Uh, we know that uh, at least $6.4 million will be invested into the stadium alone, multiple million dollar contract beyond that and it sounds like all of the money is being paid up front so uh, you know everyone's going to get their money uh, right away and we're all getting acquainted with what guaranteed rate is what's the reaction from the very cynical chicago public ryan Burrow? yeah th remember this is a city that still calls uh the, the big tall tower on the west in the west loop the sears tower not the willis tower uh they still call the uh uh, what's now Macy's downtown Marshall Field. So uh, not a good reaction. Uh, people still call it Sox Park. They still call it Comiskey. I think it's going to take a while for people to warm up to guaranteed rate park. I can tell you that immediately after the news, uh, the Cubs chimed in with uh, a highlight of, of uh, Wilson Contreras hitting a home run and calling it guaranteed fate. The uh, uh, the Bears tweeting out uh, a picture of Soldier Field saying, breaking news, we're still Soldier Field. So uh, already even some of the Chicago teams kind of laying into the White Sox. Uh, you know, say what you want, but that's why they spend $6 million a year is because you would never hear of guaranteed rate. They spend all this money. <laughs> that's what they get. They get publicity out of the deal. That's a good point, but, you know, Bush, obviously a very iconic brand in St. Louis. Miller, a very iconic brand in uh, in Milwaukee. Uh, you know, I mean, there are a lot of uh, uh, businesses in Chicago, whether it be Walgreens or Boeing, obviously the United Center named after United Airlines. Uh, I just I think this is a surprise to everyone that it's not a very iconic brand, not to anything anyone can kind of warm up to. And, um, you know, the fact that the logo has a downward pointing arrow uh, <laughs> just kind of adds fuel to the joke. <laughs> All right, Ryan Burrow, ABC News correspondent. Thanks for checking in. Have a good weekend. Take care. 725, Big 550.